So this is the next video in Arrow app. It's data management. You should have already seen the general overview or at least know how to use the Arrow app in general. This will show you how to load data into the Arrow app. All right, so let's jump in here where we left off in our data tab. If you've already seen the general overview video, um, this is where we're gonna input all of our data. We're gonna download it and we're gonna adjust it based which data set we need to use. And you notice right at the top, you see no active cycle in red. This is a great indication. You can see this from any portion in the application that you have no active cycle. If you see me going through it here. So this is telling us that there's nothing loaded into an active cycle. You'll also see if you have a data set in there and it's out of date, an uncurrent, it'll tell you that that is an uncurrent data cycle. And so you'll need to go in, either download a new data set and swap them or just swap the ones that you have. And so let's get some data in here so we can run through everything and we'll show you a couple ways to download your data. Okay, the first way I'm gonna show you here is using your own Wi-Fi or a secure network connection that reaches out to the internet. You can see here we're starting in the download page, or correction, the data status page, and we're gonna to go to the download page. The download page is gonna take us to the section where we can find all of our data sources. You can see that I have all of these sources up at the top. And what we're going to use today is the AWS fast cloud loading. Now in that section, we have GeoAxis, Arrow user database and mobile data management. Here in future updates, hopefully we'll get a mobile data management that can push information down from anywhere. But right now we're going to use the GeoAxis, which is the disadvantaged user account that you created or that somebody else created for your unit that you're gonna input the information here. So we're gonna start with our username and password. And once that's entered in, we're gonna click connect. So we've entered our name and connected and you can see the AWS pulls up and it shows you cycles. Here we have 2018-0104 cycle. That's our current cycle that we have. And we click into it. Now you notice that we have all of these selections that we could pick. And you see that some of these are already highlighted. And we have everything that we can go all the way worldwide. The easy way, if you're doing a CONUS, for instance, all you need to do is click the CONUS button. And it's gonna ask you, do you want all of this information to be loaded? And that is all of your base information that you'll need. Yes, and it's gonna check mark everything that you have. Then you can simply say, all I need to do is download it up in the top right. Now I'm gonna show you a way that's probably preferred and it allows you to do this update really if you don't have a disadvantaged user account or if you don't have a way to do it such as you're operating on a deployment or in the box somewhere and you need to get it from your Aero Data server which is hosted near your flight ops. All you gotta do is go to Aero Data Server. In my case, it has automatic discovery on, and you can see here that we have demo data server. Now this is pulling information over the Wi-Fi from our data server computer that should be set up in each of your um, areas for your flight planning. Hopefully it's near your flight ops. So you walk in, get your information. In the demo data server, I'm gonna click on that, and look, I have two options as well. So that means that is what's being hosted. The great thing about this is, when I go to 2014, I can also push information that I would like for users to have. So here, the only information that you're gonna see is the information that I've hosted. What's great about the host information is everything in here is something that you're gonna need to make this application set up right. And then you see here, we'll show you later, I can push user files and we'll show you that. I'll go ahead and download that for uh, this user file PDF. And then we're gonna go up and we're gonna click download. You can see everything starts to download and at the very bottom it's going to show you how quickly it's happening and you can see when you use that wi-fi capability as opposed to a cellular service or maybe even your own home wi-fi you might have a lot higher download you can see we're already burning through these updates extremely quick and we'll come back to you when they're all done all right so you can see now that everything is downloaded here all the way through we're going to hit done and you can see now that we have a ready to load underneath our swap data sets button. And it says it found all of the information here in our files library. So it's really simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna move to standby here. And it's gonna validate all of our files and it's gonna push it up to the top right where it says standby data set. 
Once that's done and complete, all we have to do is swap those data sets and you'll see quickly that the no active cycle goes away. And there we go. We can see that we've got no active cycle is still there. I'm gonna take this standby data set and I'm gonna swap this data set into my current data set. There you go, you can see that the no active cycle went away. It's not red anymore, which means that the current set I have in there is active. And then now when I look through each of my tabs, it will have all of my information that I need. And that is how you set up your data inside of Aero application. Please go on to any of the other videos in this series for the Aero app in depth.